Hey, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. We have some news for y'all. The Texans are releasing quarterback Ryan Finley on the heels of signing free agent quarterback Jeff Driscoll. Houston traded for Finley for, uh, a, uh, we traded a six round pick in return for a seventh round pick in Finley. But now after cutting him, the move kind of seems pretty questionable. Um, I mean, we had five quarterbacks on the roster. Now we have four. And what are your instant thoughts on this move? I don't really understand it. For one, I think Jeff Driscoll is like 28, and um, Ryan Finley's 26. That's two years younger. And I mean, two years in the NFL is a pretty good difference in years, I guess. And um, I think Ryan Finley's still on a cheaper contract than the two million con two million dollar contract that we gave um Jeff Driscoll. And another thing, Jeff Driscoll isn't even that good. He hasn't really had any too many good games if any he hasn't had a good season i don't think if any and ryan finley he at least played average last year um he carved us up in the Bengals game he pretty much destroyed our defense jeff just jeff driscoll i don't think he's ever done anything like that it's just weird like to me it indicates that either one nick Casario doesn't know what he's doing he's just scrambling because of the quarterback situation or two we're thinking about making a move, maybe a trade, or maybe another signing, or we're just creating maybe, I'm not really too sure, it's just weird, but yeah, it's my thoughts on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there is no way five quarterbacks are going to make it to the 53-man roster. One of them was going to be cut, and it seems like if Deshaun is gone, our quarterback depth chart is going to be quarterback number one, Tyrod Taylor, for the time being. Then Davis Mills, quarterback two. I no way we have Driscoll over Davis Mills. And I know he's still a rookie and all, but like he definitely should be second uh, behind Tyrod Taylor. And then I guess Driscoll, and then hopefully that that's the plan I'm guessing. But I think Driscoll was a free agent this whole entire time. So I don't know what made uh, Casario want to sign Driscoll like after making the trade for Finley. Just kind of weird. Maybe he really valued um, that extra two, two or three years of experience that Driscoll has. I'm not sure, but um, it's a pretty interesting move, and I'm guessing that the quarterback that everyone's wondering about, Deshaun Watson, I think he might be moved in uh, pretty soon, probably in the next week or so. Yeah, and another thing, it's kind of weird. I think like OTA started either today, which is what well, today's Monday. So yeah, I mean, today. um, they just noticed Deshaun. Maybe they had a little bit of hope. Maybe Deshaun would show up. Probably not. So then they kept five quarterbacks on the roster, and now they cut Driscoll. I mean, not Driscoll. They cut Finley. I don't know, it's confusing because that doesn't even make sense. Like, why cut another quarterback just to not have another one show up? So now you're stuck with, what, three quarterbacks as of right now at OTAs, or at least we assume they're OTAs, other than Deshaun. So, I mean, it, I don't know, it's just confusing as a whole. Like, the move doesn't make sense at all. Um, to me, it's just wasting draft picks, wasting wasting cap space. I don't know, that's just weird. But, yeah, yeah, I mean, we wasted a whole sixth-round pick, and we saw in this draft, we... I believe it was like one of the later six. I don't think it was our own sixth round pick. I might probably wrong on that. But we got someone like Roy Lopez in the sixth round. We could have gotten, there was so much other talent in the draft that we could have gotten with that sixth round pick. So many guys who went undrafted who could have been drafted, honestly. So uh, it's kind of a bit questionable. So yeah, and what what's funny is that maybe Driscoll outperformed Finley, which is pretty concerned. I don't know. Um, pretty funny and questionable, but I doubt that happened. But yeah, I guess we just had to wait and see at this point. Yeah, um, it's gonna be interesting to see how the quarterback room moves on forward from this. Um, interesting to see how it goes on to training camp. See if Deshaun ever shows up, or if he is just gonna be traded. And if Deshaun does end up showing up, it's gonna be another question mark. What do we do with Driscoll? We're probably gonna end up cutting him too. So I mean, we're just making a bunch of like, I guess panic moves or panic signings for the quarterback room that's what it seems like to me but yeah it's gonna be very interesting moving on moving yeah forward. it was reported today that Deshaun's stance is still the same that he still wants out so I don't expect to see him appear up here in training camp but usually veterans don't really appear for OTAs who knows if that culture is different with David Cully and his new coaching staff but yeah, I, I highly doubt Deshaun uh, changes his mind at this point. He went all in in his stance and no point in turning back at this point, right? So yeah, that's yeah. going to be it for the video. Let us know your thoughts. And as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thank you all for watching. Peace.